OMG. Angela Levin drops big bombshell on Meghan's forgetting emails scandal unfolding dirty truth. Meticulous Meghan Markle was criticized today for saying she couldn't remember emails later shown to a court. Meghan has always vehemently denied cooperating with the authors of Finding Freedom to help them with the controversial biography. But emails shown to a court reveal she and Harry heavily briefed their press spokesman Jason Knauf before he met to discuss the book with writers Omid Scoby and Carolyn Duran two years ago. Royal biographer Angela Levin stated, Meghan is a very bright woman. She's very meticulous about everything she says and everything she does. Someone with that sort of attention span, and meticulous behavior is surely going to find it hard to forget the huge difference it's made about finding freedom and about her father and about the whole royal family unless there are strong reasons. Meghan yesterday apologized to the Court of Appeal for not mentioning the emails before in her long-running High Court privacy case against the Mail on Sunday for revealing the contents of the letter to her father. Meghan said, I did not have the benefit of seeing these emails and I apologize to the court for the fact I had not remembered these exchanges at the time. Yesterday it was revealed Meghan even wrote five bullet points and 31 reminders she says may be helpful to have. Angela explained, we could see even from the notes that she left for the senior aide that her attention is for everything, it was minutely done. Even the documents she gave him, she made sure they were numbered one-fifth she didn't want anyone else to add in another number. She also finished every page with half a sentence so no one could add anything. In her statement to court, Meghan admitted Mr. Knauf did provide some information to the authors for the book and did so with my knowledge. Angela Levin says Meghan is brushing off new evidence in her court battle with the Mail on Sunday as if it's nothing. But the details being revealed by former aide Jason Knauf at the High Court are very serious and could cause significant damage to her reputation, Ms. Levin says. Ms. Levin told GB News, I think the whole thing is absolutely extraordinary, she told the broadcaster. What is astonishing is that the Palisades are now talking and saying what they think has really happened. Before, they followed the Queen's motto, which is to never complain and never explain, and staff did this too. But Meghan and Harry are a different breed now and, their comments are, thought to be so unfair and wrong that aides now going to speak about their views. She claims the Duchess tried brushing away Mr. Knauf's evidence as though it's nothing. But Ms. Levin claims in the court setting she was in it is very serious. She explained, what she said in court was not true and I think her credibility will suffer for this in a significant way. Ms. Levin says the Duchess is also desperate to not lose against the publisher. She doesn't like to be beaten, she wants to win, and sometimes she goes overboard, she said. She doesn't listen to detail, she doesn't want to be told, she just wants to forge ahead. Here are Meghan's list of talking points Meghan wanted Mr. Knauf to share with the authors. As set out in his witness statement, these included Information on how she had very minimal contact with her half-siblings throughout her childhood. That she had been close, for, most of her life with her father and she had supported him in spite of his reclusiveness. She added that media pressure crumbled him and he began doing press deals brokered by his daughter Samantha and that despite countless efforts to support him through the past two years, they now no longer have a relationship. Her perspective on the thinking behind a statement in November 2016 issued by me about the way she was being treated by the media. Her happiness about moving to Windsor. Detail on how the tiara for her wedding had been selected and that it had been misrepresented by media selected.